What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. In this video, I'll show you how to connect to a Windows file share from a Raspberry Pi. Using SMB or the Samba protocol on Windows is the easiest way to share files. Just right click properties share. And just like that, people on the network have access to your files. But how do you connect to that on a Raspberry Pi? On Windows, you'd usually open your file explorer, head to the network tab and poof, there's the other computers on the network. However, here, there's nothing like that. Well, it's really simple. We need to install a few common libraries first, then we can get to mounting a Windows file share on a Raspberry Pi and of course using it. So first of all, we need to install some packages. Open a terminal and I'll be running sudo apt install followed by samba common, samba common bin, smb client and cifs utils. Hit enter and it'll install all of these packages. You'll probably need to hit Y as well. There we go. Now we need to make a folder that we can populate with network items or rather link with an item over the network. How do we do that? Well, sudo mkdir for make directory slash mnt slash followed by any name. I'll call it PC for example. So in order to save a username and password, the best way to do so is in a file that nobody can access other than us or our user rather. I'll sudo nano tilde slash dot smb or smb creds. You can name it anything you want. I'll call it smb creds. I'll hit enter and inside of here, username equals and on a new line, password equals and I'll simply enter my username and password as my Windows PC shows them. Then I'll control S to save and control X to close nano. Now that I've saved my credentials into SMB creds, we can sudo chmod 600, so it's only readable by us, tilde slash dot SMB creds. I had tabbed autocomplete there, enter, and just like that, it's unreadable to anyone but our user. Now that we've saved our credentials, let's go ahead and edit fstab so we can mount our Windows file share on our Raspberry Pi every time we boot it up. sudo nano etsy fstab and hit enter. Inside of here, at the very bottom, we'll add slash slash followed by our computer name, in my case, desktop hyphen JD4H8B0. This will be different for you. If you hit start and type in name, you'll see view my PC name on Windows, or you can open up a command prompt window, type in who am I as one word, hit enter, and it'll not only tell you your PC name, but also your Windows username as well. We'll need to know both of these. Space forward slash the destination, in my case, MNT slash PC, that's where it's going. Space CIFS space credentials equals, followed by the path to our credentials, not using tilde slash, but instead typing it out in full slash home slash your pi's username slash dot sm b creds space zero space zero enter control s to save control x to close and now all we need to do is sudo mount tag a and it should hopefully work properly i'll need to edit this maybe we do need to specify a specific folder i'll share one titled clips there we go control s control x let's try mount again there we go this time it worked properly if I open up a new file browser, you'll see nothing is different here. But if we open MNT for mount, we have PC. And inside of here, we have all of the different files shared for my Windows PC over the network. For example, I can open a folder here and play maybe a video. Upon doing so, it'll open up over the network. And just like that, start playing on our Pi. Great. Now, at this point, whenever you restart your Raspberry Pi, it'll try and mount that same folder over the network like magic. We can sudo nano etsy fstab at any point and edit this command here. Otherwise, if you don't want to rely on a command like this, I'll simply copy these two paths. What we can do is run a command to mount it. sudo mount tag t cifs space followed by the network folder path, in my case desktop clips, the destination, in my case mount pc, then hyphen o user equals followed by your username, pass equals followed by your password, then you'll be able to hit enter and it should mount that folder on your Pi. I'll test it by making mount test, sudo mount test. Then we'll try this, mounting clips to test with my proper password. Now, when we open up a file browser, you'll see in mount that we now also have test and inside of test, we have the same network files. 
One of them is mounted via FSTAB and the other is mounted via the command. When we're done, we can sudo umount for unmount, there's no N, followed by the path MNT, MNT slash, and it was test. There we go. Now, if we head back to mount, we still have it, but that's because we created this file inside of it should be empty. It's not empty now. I assume after a restart, it will be. Anyways, one of these is now mounted permanently, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted, and I'm happy it's working properly. If we ever want to edit this later, just remember to sudo nano etsy fstab and change the path down here. That's about it for this super quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this guide useful, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!